Hi, if you ever talk to anyone about front end alignment on a truck, one of the things that comes up right away is whether or whether or not it's necessary to bend the front axle to do an alignment on a big truck. Some of the places bend the axles and some of them don't. I'm Vince Tornelli and welcome to Florida Shores Truck Center. I'm going to give you some of my opinions on whether or not it's necessary to bend axles on big trucks when you do an alignment and uh, explain to you what the advantages and disadvantages are. For years people have been setting the camber, the caster, and the toe in when they do an alignment on a car or a truck. And the camber is the way the tires tilt in or out at the top. At the top. And the toe, of course, is the adjustment on the tie rod end. And the caster is the forward or back tilt of the kingpins or the ball joint. Um, the camber is what makes the vehicle meet the road properly. When you look at a road, the road always tilts to the right-hand side and the water runs off. Well, if you set your camber properly, what you're going to do is set the wheels so that they meet the contour of the road. If it's not set properly, it's going to give you a stability complaint. The vehicle is not going to handle properly. We set the left front wheel tilted out a quarter of a degree and we tilt the right front wheel in an eighth of a degree and this makes it meet the road properly. People go and do alignments on cars and they've been doing it for years and they've been setting the camber and then now with the big trucks people are saying that you don't have to set the camber and it's, it's really not true because you can get away without doing it but you're not going to get the proper handling and it's also going to affect your tire wear. The number one thing that affects tire wear is the toe in. That's the adjustment of the tie rod. If the toe in is off, your tires will just burn right off of the truck. The number two thing that affects tire wear is the tandem alignment. If the two tandems are out of adjustment with each other, it will turn the whole vehicle and it will be noticeable on your front tires. The common, common wear that you'll get will be wear on the inside edge of one tire and the outside edge of the other steering tire. The third factor in tire wear is your camber. If your camber's not set properly, it'll wear your tires, but not as drastically as if your tandem alignment is off or if your toe in is off. I want to give you a couple of examples of why I feel it's necessary to set the camber on a truck or a motorhome. One of them, I had a customer named Frank Musetter, may rest in peace, he was one of my customers for years and years, probably 10 years I did work on his truck. And he, uh, he had this same truck for eight or ten years and you know he had, he had had tie rod ends changed and had the toe in set multiple times and when I got the rack that I have now he bring it in and he says you know I don't have any problems with this truck but I want you to go ahead and check the alignment just to see if it's okay because I've never had it lined up before so we checked the truck you know, we did the complete alignment on it, bending the axle, setting the camber, and then reset the toe in. Well, after about two weeks, he came back in, and he says, you know, he says, I never realized it. I've been fighting this thing the whole time. After you set the camber, it was just so much more stable in the road. Every time it would hit a bump, it would dart to the left or dart to the right. And this is because the tires were riding on the edge and they weren't meeting the contour of the road. He said, after you got done with it now, I just feel like I hadn't done anything after I get done working. Before I'd be exhausted from continuously turning the wheel back and forth all day long because it would hit a bump, it would go to one side, hit a bump, go to the other side, and it was just unstable in the road. Then I had a, another customer that had a motor home. It was a relatively new motor home and he said the same thing. He said he didn't need an alignment. He didn't have anything wrong with the motor home but he just wanted me to check it. So we checked it, we set it and then he came in after about a couple weeks and he says, you know, I wanted to talk to you. The fastest I would drive this motor home and feel comfortable was about 55 miles an hour. 
said, after you did the alignment, I was going to St. Augustine, which is about a 110 mile trip from where we are. And he said, I'm driving down the road. And then instead of going 55, I noticed I'm going 60. And he said, I drove a little bit further and I'm doing 65. And he said, by the time I got to St. Augustine, I was going about 70 and I never would drive it that fast before because I just didn't feel comfortable. It was not stable in the road. And this is what happens when you set the camber. You're not going to necessarily get a huge different in tire wear, tire wear because, uh, um, you know, unless it's drastically out. But, uh, you know, you will notice the stability if it's off just a little bit. If you don't have spread in your camber, a difference between the left side and the right side, it will make your vehicle unstable in the road. Now, if you go and you uh, look in one of the manuals and see what the spec is for the camber on the front axle on a truck, the manufacturers usually give you a really wide spec. Um, depending on the manufacturer, it'll be like basically if the vehicle was in an accident and the axle got bent really bad then you have to change it and otherwise it's okay um that's what's in the manuals well i remember back in the 80s when we purchased some new trucks they came with a beeline sticker on them and beeline you know is the company that makes the alignment equipment that we have and so those axles were bent after the manufacturer made the truck and we also negotiated with another dealer um, another manufacturer about becoming a dealer on, on a different line of trucks and their trucks had to have the axles bent after um, before they put them into service and it was part of like a new truck in service uh, my personal opinion is, is when they make the axles they make them with a little bit of positive camber where the tires are leaned out so they can use them in a lot of different applications and then depending on how much weight is on the truck when it's assembled then the camber will go back negative to a certain extent but with all the different accessories on the trucks they really do need to be set at least one time um, like I say you know we know that they were bending them back in the 80s and we know that some of the manufacturers um, have that as part of their in-service so you know if it was necessary then I don't know why it wouldn't be necessary now um, what I do know for sure is if the camber is not set with a little bit of spread it will make the vehicle unstable if you don't have a little bit more camber on the left and a little bit less on the right the vehicle won't meet the crown so when you go and you get an alignment done on your truck Look and see what type of equipment that they have. We charge $175 for a front axle alignment. A lot of places, they may charge a little bit less, but if they're not actually hooking up all the hydraulic equipment to set the camber, you're getting much less and you're paying a little bit less. And, you know, if you're in New York or out in Arizona somewhere and you're not going to bring your truck into Florida Shores Truck Center for an alignment, look and see what they're doing. You'd be surprised how many customers come in and say that they had an alignment done for cheaper and then I say well what did they do did they have this hydraulic equipment and hook it up to set your camber and the customers don't even know so obviously if you work on the truck for three hours or two and a half hours it's going to cost more money than if somebody just goes out there and sets the tow in um, and you get more for your money also so this is something that you guys need to check when you get your truck worked on. You can just go and look at the alignment equipment and see what they're doing. It just writing it down what the camber is and recording it is not going to help you. I'm going to do a series of short videos. I'm just getting started with it now. It took a long time to figure out how to get the GoPro camera set up and we're going to give you, share with you a little bit of our ideas. We've also talked about possibly doing a video on a, what to inspect when you buy a new truck because um, we do quite a bit of purchasing um, vehicles. Uh, and I was going to see if I could get Jason, my sales manager, to do that. Um, and we're also going to handle some other topics uh, about front end alignment and 
then we're going to show you some of the projects that we're working on in the shop and well, I think you'll find them interesting and uh, uh, we'll see you next time. Vince from Florida Shores Truck Center. Thank